This short presentation will demonstrate how to register for your classes using the online student information system. This is the home page for the Los Angeles Community College District Registration System. Enter your student ID number. It should be nine digits. Next, enter your four-digit PIN. If you don't remember these numbers, check the instructions at the left for assistance. Once you've entered the right information, click Submit. This is the main menu. The buttons at the right provide several helpful options. These are pretty self-explanatory. Since we're registering for a class, let's take a look at the first button on the menu. Your registration appointment is the time during which you can register for the upcoming semester. So before we try to enroll in a class, we should check to make sure the system will let us. Make sure you choose West Los Angeles College from the top menu. Next, select the semester you want to register for, then click Submit. The system displays the day and time that we could begin registering. It looks like we're good to go, so let's add a class. First, choose Registration from the menu. Again, make sure you select the appropriate college and semester. Next, make sure Add is displayed in the menu. Finally, type in the section number of the course you want to add. Remember when we looked at courses in the schedule of classes? You learned that each course has a unique section number. So if you wanted to enroll in this journalism course, you would enter the section number here and then click Submit. You can see that the class has been added to our schedule and we've been given a confirmation number. It's that simple. But what if you don't know the section number of a class and you need to look it up? You can use the system search feature. Let's go back to the registration window. Let's say you want to find physical geography. First, make sure the menus are all filled in correctly and then click class search. The system lists all the subjects being taught this semester. Scroll down to Geography, highlight it, and then click Next. The system displays all the geography courses being offered this semester. The course we want is right at the top of the list. If you want, you can narrow your search using these menus. For now, we'll just leave these blank and click Next. We're in luck. We have two physical geography classes to choose from. The first one meets at 8 a.m. on Monday and Wednesday, and the second one meets at 8 a.m. on Tuesday and Thursday. Let's choose the class meeting on Tuesday and Thursday. As you can see, the class was successfully added to our schedule. Let's take a look at our schedule. To do so, we'll click View Schedule. So far, we've added two classes for a total of six units. But what if you wanted to drop a class? Dropping a course is as easy as adding one. Let's say you want to drop the journalism class. Note the section number and then click Registration. As always, make sure you have the right college and semester selected. Change Add to Drop and enter the section number of the class you want to drop. Then click Submit. Easy, right? Just remember that if you drop a class during the semester, you must do it before the deadline. Otherwise, you have to pay for it. There is also a deadline for dropping a class without getting a W on your academic record. You can find all the important dates and deadlines in the schedule of classes. The last thing you need to learn is how to pay your fees. Let's say that we're only taking physical geography next semester. We can't attend class until we've paid our tuition. To do so, click View and Pay Fees. As you can see, we need to pay for three units. We must also pay a health fee and a student representation fee. These fees are not optional. Other optional fees are listed here. Choose those that you are interested in or simply select No Optional Fees. Once you've made a selection, click Calculate Fees. Our total fees for this semester are $90. There are a few different ways you can pay your tuition. The easiest method is by credit card. To do so, just click the button at the bottom of the screen. You can also mail a check or money order to the address listed. Or you can pay in person at the business office, which accepts cash, checks, credit cards, or money orders. Once your fees are paid, you're registered. The next step is to show up to class on time. If you still have questions about registering for classes, don't be shy. Stop into the admissions office or the counseling center and ask one of the experts. They're sure to have the answers you're looking for.